Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me for my fifth edition of Building the Colossus. This is of course us taking a look at the Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse line, and this is Shadowcat. And with the way that I was impressed with the Legion figure in the late, my last video, pretty eager to get this one opened up and see what she has in store for us. Stay tuned. And here we have Shadow Cat, or Kitty, out of her package, and everything that she comes with. So first off, she comes with the torso of Colossus, which, wow, it's sculpted and painted exceptionally well. A lot of movement there as well. Pretty excited to get that put together. Um, in addition to the two posing hands that she comes with, she has two fisted hands, which are nicely done, nicely painted with fingerless gloves. They do pivot as you would expect, and then she also comes with her two claws. Looks like I need to get a little heat on this one. But they're very nicely sculpted, detailed around the wrist as well. They look really good. So let's take a look at Shadowcat. Now, one thing I have noticed is she does have a blemish here on her cheek. It's a bit unfortunate, but I guess we can say that it adds a little bit of dirt. So it looks like she's been in battle. It's really nice. Anyhow, uh, face is nicely painted. I love the uh, the eyes and lipstick. Very detailed. Hair looks really good. She does have the the double ball as far as the neck, so she is able to go up exceptionally well as well as down. Attitude, full rotation, as you'd expect. Very small shoulders, but she is still able to get well above 90 degrees out. Full rotation as you would expect. The arm rotation is actually right above the elbow, but you do still get more than 90 degrees, which is very nice. Uh, the hands do pivot in and out, full rotation. Now, one thing that's nice is if you want to use the claws just simply take the hands off and the wrist bracelets are they're sculpted so they don't twist and it looks really really good but you can bring in the clawed hands and you have the choice of either do either doing a posing hand or if you want the appropriate fisted hand just pop it back in so very nicely done and again there's very minimal movement on these bracelets so definitely adds a nice look to it very well done uh, she does have a little bit of ab crunch but mainly it's hindered a little bit because of the sculpt but she does have rotation there as well no rotation in the ri in the waist. Uh, her belt is loose, but it is very nicely done. Silver with the red X on the front. Looks good. All the blue does look fantastic. Uh, legs can kick up to there. That far back, quite a bit out. There is a thigh cut, double jointed knee, and as you would expect, the up and down and pivot. So articulation is on par with what you would expect. There's the view from the back. Overall, I think she's a very nicely sculpted and painted figure. Here she is with the wave mates that we've reviewed so far. So final thoughts on the figure. Um, very few negatives, to be honest. She's a bit plain, but that's not really anything to, to prevent you from making a purchasing decision. If you're in for the line, then I do highly recommend her. The paint and sculpting are pretty fantastic, to be honest. Uh, I just wish that there was a bit more color 
to the character, but that's how she appeared in the comic. So Marvel can't be faulted for that. Uh, the articulation, paintwork, and sculpting are great. Uh, no complaints there at all, to be honest. I wish that she may... The one, one thing that they could have added would be a waist rotation. So she just has that solid abdomen below the upper the upper torso. So just minor complaints. I do highly recommend her, um, especially if you want to complete the wave. This came to me via Amazon, so she is available. Keep your eyes out and good luck on your toy hunts. I hope to see you again next time.